New at 11, getting results for pedestrians trying to cross the street on one of Orlando's busiest roads. Safety is a top priority for the plan to rework the intersection at Mills Avenue and Mount Vernon Streets in Colonial Town South near the busy Mills 50 District. New 6's Troy Campbell is live there tonight with details on this plan. Troy? Yeah, so right away, if we take a look at the lights at this intersection, you'll see that they're right above the lanes on the, the cable right there that goes across the roadway. FDOT says that that has previously been damaged before as well. The Department of Transportation says not only will these new improvements make it safer for drivers, but also the many students who cross here every day. The department is planning on installing dual mass arm signals. I was curious, so I came by and I'm glad I did. Michael Rausch, owner of Colonial Photo and Hobby, says on Wednesday evening he wanted to get a first hand look at the Florida Department of Transportation's plan for reconstructing the intersection of Mills Avenue and Mount Vernon Street in Orlando. He says he was born and raised in the area, witnessing all the growth firsthand. Everything in the area is getting better and better to draw more traffic, which is the idea, you know, get customers to come out, come down and see things. FDOT says in 2018, an oversized vehicle caused damage to the intersection due to cables and wires lining the street. The plans call for improving the sidewalks and constructing ramps that meet ADA requirements. With Hillcrest Elementary adjacent to the project, the state says new traffic lights will improve visibility along with new signage. Rouse says with the Mills 50 district growing in popularity, it's important infrastructure in the area can also accommodate more business. He says especially with rental increases in downtown, the Mills 50 district is becoming increasingly appealing for business owners. And the nightlife is really coming in stronger into the Mills Avenue area and, and I'd like to see that. You know, it's good. A lot of it was all downtown Orlando and now I see it in the different districts. I also spoke with an employee here at this eyeglass store and they told me several years ago they used to have to park their car on the other side of Mills and they say during that time there were several incidents where they were concerned for their safety. FDOT says the design phase will still take place for um, a little more than a year. They hope to have or to break ground in 2024. Right now, the price tag is at just over $400,000. In Orlando, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.